Hey guys, welcome to the video, and today I'm doing a voiceover or over the f footage I got from the Daytona 500. Um, as you know, I went to Daytona 500, it really was a great time, um, but I'm going to kind of let some of this photo footage play out. <clears throat> um, I have a bunch of different stuff, we were in the, we got into the infield, onto the racetrack, um, Real cool racetrack. My driver, number 48, Alex Bowman, ended up coming in second, so was pretty cool. Um, go ahead, like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy my videos. I have a, uh, about two minutes of photos to play out at the end, and I have all the driver introductions and all the introductions to the race. So, we're just so this footage here was from when we got into the racetrack, kind of just a loop around the racetrack. Um, Kind of showing you guys what we were able to get to do. <clears throat> um, it was wicked cool how we go right on the racetrack. We ended up signing our name on the racetrack, which you'll see towards the end of the video. Um, just more footage of us sending just the little loop of how many people were actually on the racetrack. Um, they had probably almost the whole play, the whole front straight away. Um, actually filled with people and I've been to a couple NASCAR races before and they've never let us do stuff like that but this was definitely a fun moment um, I'm gonna let the driver interviews or the driver announcements play out here and kind of show you the view from where we were standing this is right in front of the driver where they're announcing the drivers here so I'm gonna let these play out for you and here we go. Right. 
driver snagged a second guaranteed spot of four available to race in today's Daytona 500. He won his first Cup Series race here in Daytona in the 2011 Coke Zero Sugar 400. David pilots the built submarines Ford for RFK Racing, car number 60. Built Connecticut, Anthony Alfredo. He had the fastest non-charter entry in Wednesday night's pole qualifying, locking him into today's race. Today, Anthony will make his second appearance in the Daytona 500, driving the number 62 Death Wish Coffee Chevrolet for Beard Motorsports. Uh, Noah Gretzen! This driver scored his first Xfinity Series win here in Daytona in 2020. Moving to a new team this season, Noah will be driving full-time in the Cup Series for Stuart Haas Racing. Behind the wheel, the number 10, Black Rifle Coffee Company Ranger votes for. Starting 37 from Kannapolis, North Your 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion returns to the Cup Series behind the wheel of the number 31, Circle Chevrolet for Colling Racing. Rolling off 36 from Las Vegas, Nevada, Riley Hurts. Last year, he made his Cup Series debut during the 65th running of the Daytona 500, scoring a top 10 finish. Riley drives for Rick Ware Racing in the number 15, Monster Energy Ford. Starting 35th, your reigning Daytona 500 champion, Ricky Stenhouse. Junior. His Daytona 500 win came in dramatic fashion after winning in double overtime, making it the longest event in the history of the Great American Race. Ricky is driving for JTG Country Racing in the number 47, boost by Kroger Cottonell Chevrolet. Starting 30, Nevada. He is a two-time Cup Series champion with a combined 229 NASCAR National Series wins. Kyle drives a number eight zone Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Starting 33rd, your 2018 Daytona 500 champion, Austin Dillon. No stranger to checkered flags here at Daytona. Austin was also the winner of the 2022 Coke Zero Sugar 400. With the NASCAR Xfinity Series and Truck Series Championship to his credit, he drives the Bass Pro Shop's iconic number three for Richard Childress Racing. Starting 32nd from High Point, North Carolina, Ryan Blaney. Today, he begins his title defense as a reigning NASCAR Cup Series champion. The 10-time Cup Series winner returns from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, Dillon. He made the jump from the NASCAR Truck Series in 2022. Todd is driving the Generator Ford car for Front Row Motorsports. He carries on his family legacy in the number 38. Rolling off 30th today from Hendersonville, Carolina, Corey LaJoy. The third generation racer begins his fourth full-time season driving the number seven, Chili's Chikorita Chevrolet for Spire Motorsports. Starting 28 today from Las Gunas, California, AJ Almendinger! Yeah. Today he will make his 11th start in the Great American Race, piloting the number 16, Celsius Chevrolet for Colleague Racing. Starting 27th from Mayenna, New Jersey, Martin Truex Jr. He is your 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion and two-time Xfinity Series champion with 10 Cup Series Brian Brees. He is one of the toughest racers in NASCAR in return seeking to capture his first career win in the Daytona 500. This short track racer is back in the number 41, HaasTooling.com Ford. Starting 24th from Mobile, Alabama, Bubba Wallace. He stretched off his first appearance in the Cup Series playoffs last season and is looking to build off that momentum in 2024. Behind the wheel of this Toyota Camry for 2311 racing. Rolling off 23rd today, a two-time Daytona 500 champion, Jimmy Johnson. 
the seven time NASCAR Cup Series champion, punched his ticket to race today in the 66 running of Daytona across Justine! This driver is a four time Cup Series race winner, including a victory at the 2023 season finale in Phoenix. Ross will be behind the wheel of the number one Bush Light Chevrolet for track house racing. Rolling off 20th from Mitchell, Indiana, Chase Briscoe. He is one of only three drivers to win Rookie of the Year honors in all three of NASCAR's National Series. Today, Chase drives the number 14 Mahindra Tractors Ford for Stuart Haas Racing. Starting 19th from Prosper, Texas, Chris Busher. He is the most recent Cup Series winner at Daytona with a victory in last year's Cup Zero Sugar 400. Today, Chris will drive the number 17 Fastenal Ford for RFK Racing. Starting 18th today from Charlotte, North Carolina, William Byron. He made his first Cup Series Championship Four appearance last season on the strength of six victories. His first victory came here in Daytona in the 2020 Cup Zero Sugar 400. Rolling off 17 today for Beth Larson. This 23 time race winner is also your 2021 NASCAR Cup Series Champion driving the number five HendrickCars.com Chevrolet. Starting 16th from Rochester Hill, Michigan, Brad Keselowski. Making his 14th Daytona 500 start. He is a NASCAR Cup and Xfinity Series Champion. He will drive the number six Castrol Edge Ford. Rolling off 15 from Charlotte, North Carolina, the 2022 NASCAR Xfinity Series Champion, Ty Gibbs. He's a 23 Rookie of the Year, competing in his first full-time season last year and driving the number 54 Monster Energy Toyota. Starting 14 today from Huntington Beach, California, Zane Smith. Your 2022 NASCAR Truck Series Champion has two truck wins at Daytona, driving the number 71 WeatherTech Chevrolet. Oh, Daniel Suarez! Your 2016 Xfinity Series Champion comes off a win in the NASCAR Mexico Series race in Los Angeles. He drives a track house racing number 99 Freeway Insurance Chevrolet. Rolling off 12 from Huntersville, North Carolina, Harrison Burton. As a second generation driver, he begins his third full-time season. He drives the famous Wood Brothers, number 21, Motocraft Dex Imaging Ford. Starting 11 from Byron, Michigan, Eric Jones. In 2018, he earned his first win here in Daytona. He'll drive the iconic number 43 Advent L Toyota for Legacy Motor Club. Starting 10th from Mooresville, North Carolina, John Hunter Nevichek. Returning to the Cup Series full-time in the Dollar Tree Toyota for Legacy Motor Club. Rolling off in ninth from Portage, Michigan, Carson Hosevar. 2024 marks his first full-time season driving for Spire Motorsports. Three-time Daytona 500 champion, Denny Hamlin. Today, he drives the number 11, FedEx Toyota. Starting seventh from Tucson, Arizona, Alex Bowman. He's a three-time pole winner in the Daytona 500, carrying on the legacy of the number 48, Ally Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. Starting sixth, your 2022 Daytona 500 champion, Austin Sindrick. Is the only rookie to win the Great American Race. He'll drive the number two discount tire forward for Team Penske. Starting fifth today, from Dawsonville, Georgia, Chase Elliott. The 2020 NASCAR Cup Series champion and winner here on the Daytona Road Course is a six-time winner of NASCAR's most popular driver award. Christopher Bell. Two consecutive championship four appearances for this driver and a six-time series winner, earning his first victory right here on the Daytona Road Course two seasons ago. Starting third from Corning, California, Tyler Reddick. He won the Blue Green Vacation Duel on Thursday night and is a two-time Xfinity Series champion. 
He returns, driving the Nasty Beast number 45 for 2311 Racing. Starting second, your 2021 Daytona 500 champion, Michael McDowell. He enters his 17th year as a NASCAR and Cup Series competitor, driving the number 34 Love's Travel Shops Ford. And on the pole today, your 2015 Daytona 500 champion, Joey Lugano! He's a two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion. He'll lead the field to the green flag of the Great American Race for the first time in his career, driving the number... Here's the flyover. And after the flyover, um, kind of just showed around um, the whole place. There's a couple more times they came through. As you can see here, kind of a little bit worse footage because I didn't know where they were coming from. But here they are right here, coming through again. And here's a couple of the pace laps with the cars coming around. I think they had two laps to go with this footage right here. Um, I got the startup and um, I will just let these kind of play out and I'll, ha I'll come back in a second. And here is the um, restart, or the first start of the race. Um, everyone's cheering and everything. Lights are off. Oh no, this isn't the start yet. Well, one more lap to go around, but as you can see, all the cars coming by, and I'll let that play out, and I'll let it go to the start of the race. So here is the actual start of the race, as the, you can see the lights on the car are off, they should be coming around the corner right here, and we just, we were inside the pit area, and lights are off in the pace car, and here comes the race, or the start, so I'll let this play out for you guys. start after stage number one and this is our view from our seats we got pretty cool seats right uh around turn four we had a good view of the crash but unfortunately i did not film it so there's the restart and hope you guys did enjoy go to like subscribe and here are the pictures